Hello guys, haircut and hair color for Self Natural. If you're new to my channel, I have a huge Kiwi Body Types playlist. I'm gonna leave the link down below. Before you watch this video, I also recommend you to watch this one that I did not so long ago, haircut and hair color and how they combine together because not every haircut looks good with every hair color. So those are just basic rules. And today we're gonna be more specific and we're gonna see loads of examples of celebrities of how these different rules work. Davy Kiwi is very specific about colors. He uses this 12 season system. It's very important that you stay within your color palette when you're choosing your hair color. And here's what Davy Kiwi says about haircut for soft natural. Hair should be soft and free, a loosely layered cut giving the hair a slightly tousled and softly sensual look is best. Length should be moderate to long. You might not look as good in severe geometric cuts, blunt edged cuts, symmetrical cuts, blunt cuts will be boring and geometrics will be harsh and severe on you. And I have my own opinion about modern blunt cuts. Of course, what considered to be boring in the 80s, we can kind of imagine, right? Nowadays, those blunt cuts and symmetrical cuts can be absolutely charming, but of course it depends on your head, your face, and many things. So I would say blunt cuts that are your chin length or shorter, this just in general would be less flattering for majority of soft naturals. But even here, we need to see each individual case. If the blunt cut is below the chin, I think that can look stunning, especially if you do some beachy waves there. Boyishly cropped hair, overly ornate and stylized hair, except for evening styles, which should then be highly original, very witty. Now, when I searched for witty hairstyles, this is what Google showed me, so I don't think it looks good enough on soft naturals. Also, something that was quite witty in the 80s nowadays can look quite outdated, in my viewpoint. So here, I would say just go for lightness, for air in the hair. Avoid severe stiffness and too much volume, too much coiffe. And here's what David Kiwi says about hair color for soft natural. Hair color should be rich, natural, and soft looking. It should not look as if you color your hair. If you choose to do so, make sure the effect is subtle, not drastic. Subtle lowlights. You might not look as good in boldly theatrical colors, blue, black, platinum, or straw yellow blonde, fiery red, etc. Unless it's your natural hair color, of course. Or overly lightened hair. Okay, now let's look at some celebrities' examples. Juliana Huff. Look at that platinum blonde that she used to have when she was a kid. So she's quite light naturally. Maybe when she got older, she got a bit darker, maybe more ashy. But still, she's quite light in her skin, in her eyes, and in her hair. Her eyes are very blue and super light blue, actually. Almost like whitish blue. Here we can see this stiff curls. A little bit not for soft naturals, especially plus this makeup. This colors and not enough blending. Too dark makeup for her, I think. Hair color. Even though it's platinum, it still fits to her because it's within her natural palette. Maybe it was just belly dancing or figure skating, I don't know. For that purpose, they sometimes do such makeup and hair. There were times when she became redhead. And in this case, it's very important what tone of the hair you're choosing. It should not be heavy if you have this similar coloration to her. And as far as she is a soft, natural type, she doesn't look good with anything too harsh, too bright. So she needs to make sure that this hair color doesn't look too artificial and too heavy on her. So for her coloration and for her bone structure, I think this particular red looks quite nice. It looks soft. It's quite light. It's already a little bit close to strawberry blonde and strawberry blonde is kind of like that very light red hair color, maybe with some pink addition in there. So this red is already quite light. Also, it's bright, but it's not artificially bright. It still looks quite natural in tone. It's also not super warm. It has some cool undertone in there too, which is great because if that was warmer, she would just look sick. But at the same time, I still think that her natural hair color and all those different kinds of blondes look a bit better on her. If we talk about hairstyle here, I think it's absolutely stunning. Now let's look at this ashy blonde. I think this is probably the closest to her natural hair color now as she got older. Still very light blonde, but it's not platinum and it's not dark blonde either. I would say it's medium ashy blonde. I love this on her very much. It looks calmer and she has this subtle highlights on the ends. The haircut is also amazing, both with bangs or without bangs. Here another example of the similar hair color. 
slightly lightened ends and that beautiful, absolutely natural ashy blonde on top. And along with her blue eyes and her tan, she looks absolutely stunning here and I love the style. Now here, I don't like it. I think it's too heavy for her. Maybe it's also the lighting in the photo, the color of the dress, everything is a little bit too heavy. Maybe the background plays its role here. But just in general, I can feel that this hair color is accentuating some gray undertones in her skin, which I didn't see before. Here though, I think it's a little bit worse because of the warmth in the hair as well. So her ends are a little bit warmer. Her makeup is very warm. I don't like the makeup. I don't like the lips color. I don't like those eyeshadows. I just think that she needs to go for something more calm, closer to her own coloration. Hairstyle though is stunning. This is another slightly too dark hair color. It's not very warm, but it does have some golden undertones in there. Even though she has some tan, I don't think it suits her as good as cool colors and blonde colors. And again, I love the hairstyle. Here, I like it. Even though it's quite dark still for me, it's ashy which is good. She doesn't have any makeup, which is good. That tan here helps her to still look quite healthy. It gives that warmth for her skin so she can pull off slightly heavier hair colors. Here, I don't like the whole image. First of all, I think the hair is too flat, too sleek. The bangs, even though it's slightly curved, it's a little bit too geometric here, especially for her. The makeup is too sharp and dramatic. It's too big of a contrast for her. The hair color is way too heavy, along with this dress. And you can see sometimes how different elements and colors of your look are creating a certain illusion. For example, I always perceived her as more delicate in bone structure and in flesh. But here, with this heavy, sleek and solid elements, I feel that she's quite wide. And here, maybe because of the bright light, we can see slightly patchy toning of the hair. So some hair that has been bleached more, it's blue looking. And some that were bleached less are yellow looking. Sometimes that patchy toning doesn't look very expensive. It looks like self-made. Also, sometimes in some cases, not in all the cases. And it's not bad necessarily. I just think that it's a little bit too artificial looking. When she's getting that light buttery color blonde, that is not very cool, not very warm. Something that is closer to her color when she was a kid. I think that would be better than this one. For example, here, that coolness is just enough to make her shine. I think this is one of the best hair colors and hairstyles on her. I love it so much. It's quite close to her natural hair color when she was a kid. She has slightly dark ashy roots here and her hair is not super ashy here, but it's not yellow. It's kind of like that light buttery color, which is very fresh on her. Here, I just don't like makeup. It's a false lashes. I think they're too harsh for her face. I love the hair, the hairstyle, beachy waves, slightly tousled, very natural looking, beautiful roots, beautiful ends. I love these hair colors as well. I love the hairstyle on the left, on the right, I'm not loving that wet effect. I think it's just not necessary for her. If she would just relax it, that would be much better. In my viewpoint, it's quite rare when wet hairstyle looks great on someone. It depends on many things, including the hair color too. I think overall hair color looks better with wet effect hair and also, of course, the way it's styled. Now, Scarlett Johansson was also blonde in her childhood. We can see that medium or dark ashy blonde. She has light skin, quite light eyes. Now, this is one of those ladies who loved experimenting with her hair. And I'm just curious if she ever had a stylist or she just decided to change. So here she has this dark hair color. It's not bad, actually. The simplicity of the hairstyle is quite naturally lying on her shoulders, on her back. And that very calm and quite fresh makeup that suits her, I think this is making that look quite nice. Still, I think this hair color is a little bit too heavy for her. I think she looks better with slightly lighter color. However, I don't think it's very bad on her. Here we have some haircut plus hair color problem. As far as hair color is more orange here, it's more to a warm side, so it's already given her some alien tones for her skin and for her coloration just in general. And also this hairstyle is just not for soft naturals. They look their best if they have medium length to long hair. There are some soft naturals who can pull that hairstyle off, but then it has to be their natural hair color and the cut itself should be just a little bit different. There should be closed ears, something more feminine and more full, something that would repeat her curves. Here is just cheapening her look. It's making her look older and very old fashioned. Also, I don't quite like makeup on the left. I think it's too intense. It's done quite well though. It's not super smudgy, smoky eye, but still it's just not for her. 
that hairstyle is even worse because it has open ears, shaved sides. Normally they are way too soft for that kind of a hairstyle. So it just doesn't match. It can match your face, but then when we see your whole body, especially the outfit that you're wearing is just not fitting. I like the color, but I also don't like the wet effect on this hair. It's just not for her. The makeup is absolutely stunning. This is way too aggressive on her. Again, we can see this shaved sides. The hair color is absolutely stunning on her. And I think as far as she's naturally blonde, all these bleached ends look very fresh on her. But the hairstyle is a huge no-no. I love the makeup as well. It's very fresh and very classic looking. Here, the length is great. The hairstyle is amazing. What I don't like here is makeup. It's just too sharp for her. She needs something more smudgy, more calm, or a little bit more blending, at least. And also the hair color, I just think it's way too intense for her. She is much more muted than this color. It's overpowering her. Even if this color was just a little bit closer to her natural color, a little bit lighter, then she would be able to pull that off. Here, same situation. Makeup is a little bit too harsh. I like the hairstyle. This is probably the shortest length that I would go for her. And for many, many soft matches almost all of them actually and again the hair color I think it's too overpowering her I think it should be a bit closer to her natural color here amazing color I think the roots are actually her own hair color the ends are slightly lightened very subtle highlights and the length is great too here is a little bit too bleached. Dear Kiwi said that they should avoid over lightening their hair. And even though she's naturally blonde, it's not bad on her. It's just by these bleached roots, we kind of can predict that this is not her natural hair color. And darker brows also are giving us that hint. So that creates that Barbie doll effect, which in this case is slightly cheapening the look, not making it more expensive. But just a little bit of darkening the roots and things would be amazing. I like the hairstyles though. They have very relaxed and natural looking. Here, I don't like this slick hair on the back, I don't like the wet effect, and I don't like this feline cap makeup. I don't understand these eyes for her particularly. If she was a dramatic or dramatic classic in some cases, that makeup probably would be great on her. Even soft dramatic, but with bushier lashes. Here, it just doesn't make much sense to me. It's interesting, if she did have a stylist, the stylist probably didn't know what to do with this particular body that she had, because she definitely is far from all those 90s supermodels or dramatic. This is more for a tall, very bony woman who has very sharp and elongated facial features. For her softness, it just doesn't work. And it's great makeup, it's great hair, it's just not for her particularly, it's just for a different woman. I love the hair color though, I think it's very suiting her. Now here it's closer, but I think for her it is a little bit too small, too sleek and too stiff. If she just had a little bit more volume and a little bit more fluff in this hairstyle, that would be amazing. And I love the makeup too, it's very fresh. The hair color is great. Here I don't like the makeup, not because it doesn't suit her as a soft natural, but I just don't like these particular colors on her. And almost on anyone. This slightly pearly green eyeshadow along with yellow eyeshadow along with salmon eyeshadow, all that is giving that slightly clownish effect, especially if you're adding some blush at the same time, you have bright lips, all that is creating just too much of a colorful spots. I would just make it a little bit calmer in terms of colors. The blending is great. The hairstyle I like. Actually, this type of a sleekness looks great on her because then she has those waves and she has this blunt hair. However, this bluntness is slightly softened by the waves. And I even like this central parting on her. What I don't like is the color of the hair. I think it's probably 2000s and in 2000s we rarely can see hairstylists darkening the roots. So if we have these stripes, we have them right from the roots, which gives that very stripey, very cheap look, especially nowadays. At that time, that was cool. Here, I absolutely love it because this fluffy curls, along with this kind of a hairstyle, that looks angelic. Amazing makeup, amazing hairstyle, even though her roots are bleached here, which if she had different hairstyle, that bleached roots would slightly cheapen the look. But here is amazing. Also, it's great that her brows are quite light here. So that adds to that angelic look. If her brows were dark here, then it would cheapen the texture of the hair. 
Here is one of my favorite looks. This is very 50s glamorous hairstyle, which is close to Marilyn Monroe. It's not stiff looking. It has some volume. It has some air. Makeup is absolutely stunning. It's not overloaded. She doesn't even have this sharp eye flick, which they could do, but they didn't. It's very healthy makeup, very plump lips, nothing harsh. And with this clothes and with this lighting, I think this hair works. So it's one of my favorite looks of her. This is another my favorite look on her. The hair is on the back, but it has volume, it has air in it. It has those natural beachy waves that are on the back. She has this darker roots, light bleached ends, absolutely stunning makeup, beautiful brows, everything just shines. And this is another my favorite look of her. Beachy waves, beautiful soft natural makeup, dark roots, light ends. On the left it looks warmer, on the right it looks cooler, but maybe it's same event because the dress looks same. So also due to different lighting situation with photos, sometimes we can look cooler or warmer, but I think both of these tones look amazing on her. Now, interesting thing with Katy Perry. I'm not gonna argue now or guess which color season she is. Some people say she's true winter, some people say she's cool winter. When she was a kid, she had light skin, light eyes, and quite light hair. Not very light blonde, but kind of dark ashy blonde. Then she suddenly turned into that stunning, very glamorous brunette. It's quite hard still to judge on the photos on the red carpet because many things changed. It's not only hair color that works here for her. The way they do her makeup is very, very glamorous, exaggerated glamour. She has this image of like a fairy from a candy land or something like this, you know? All these candy colors, exaggerated glamour, certain makeup that is done in a certain way. And I found some pictures of her where she's wearing different hairstyle and different makeup. We don't have any candy glamour here anymore. So you can see how different she looks, how we can predict that this is not her natural hair color, that her natural coloration is actually less bright and slightly more muted than this black and intense color. I'm not saying this black color doesn't suit her, but still we can see the difference. When makeup is not working for her anymore, we can actually predict this is not her natural hair color. Almost looks like a wig here. Here we also see that bleached blonde from the roots, which looks slightly unnatural on them. Good point about her is that she has such facial features, such image, such makeup artist, and such a stylist that they make her very bright looking. Because of that makeup, that lighting, and that clothes, she can actually pull off bright things. This hair color, along with this hairstyle, which is shaved on the sides, that Scarlett Johansson kind of a situation, that just sometimes accentuates their neck, their shoulders, and can look just wider and more angular, despite of their delicate facial features sometimes. Because we always look head to toe, it might fit to your face, but when we see head to toe, something just doesn't work. Something starts popping up as a contrast. This look, because of the great makeup, quite delicate facial features, she looks kind of nice with this pixie. But again, if we see her head to toe, we could immediately feel this hairstyle doesn't match to this body. I think this balayage looks a little bit like a wig on her. The root colors are too dark comparing to the ends. But it's not bad on her, I just would like to see her with this hair color on different pictures, with different angle, different lighting. I love the hairstyle on her. Here, again, I love the hairstyle very much. I don't like the hair color though. I would say the tone of the hair is not for her. It's a little bit dull, but intense at the same time, quite dark. This hair color is called the worst hair color on the planet. But this is probably the only moment when I like this hair color on someone on this particular picture. It's funny, she looks like a doll here. Of course, this crazy hair color was done on purpose, so I'm not even gonna discuss it. <laughs> and here, the hairstyle is great. And even though the makeup here is not as bright and glamorous, it's more natural and more calm. I think this hair color really fits her because of the brows color, probably, because of the overall clarity of the skin and of the eyes. She has very big eyes and her whites of the eyes are very white. That definitely helps to her eyes not to get lost with this intense black color. Now, J-Lo, this is her natural hair color, very dark brown, and her natural hair texture. ta -da, our favorite 2000s light top, dark bottom hair color. I already mentioned it a million times, but as far as, this is a separate video for just soft naturals, so I'll repeat myself. So that type of a hair color was very popular in 2000s when they did very light on top and dark on the bottom. Now it looks cheap, outdated, and just basically unnatural. This is not how nature would do. So we are darkening the roots now and lightening the ends. That's simple. And I love this hairstyle on her very much. I'm a big fan of different kinds of balayages that she has. Sometimes it's more ashy, sometimes it's more caramel. 
all that suits her so well and it suits her also as a soft natural not only to her coloration the hair length the hair styles everything looks amazing here she has this slightly red hair and i think that suits her very much it's not that bright artificial red almost pinkish color it's very natural rich quite warm almost caramel red hair also amazing hairstyle looks great for all the soft naturals here there's an amazing example how glamour should be for soft naturals slightly tousled but still defined curls asymmetrical hair amazing length if you don't want to go for too long hair you can always go for long bob beautiful balayage absolutely stunning color sometimes she would go darker and i love this hair color on her as well this is not very warm this is actually quite ashy very dark blonde or maybe light brown i would say absolutely stunning great bangs and long waves for her hair sometimes she goes for lighter balayage and on her particularly i love this too but in my opinion that looks better with that kind of makeup with that kind of hairstyle and here I just wanted to show you the example when she went blonder than usual. And again, I love it very much. Again, not sure how she would look without any makeup, just naturally with that hair color. Probably that would be slightly too blending for her facial features, but she definitely makes it work brilliantly for red carpet or when she styles it and doing makeup. All right, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.